नमस्कार आई एम रंजन कुमार अमृत दी फ्रॉम अमृत दी न्यूज पटना बिहार यू आर वेलकम इन चंद्रगुप्ता इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट पटना एंड द होली लैंड ऑफ पाटलिपुत्रा इंट्रोड्यूस कैंडली इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ हाई माई नेम इज आलोक आई एम फ्रॉम साउथ एशिया ट्रस्ट अंडर साउथ एशिया ट्रस्ट वी रन फ्रॉम साउथ एशिया विच इज डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म फेस्टिवल दैट वॉज स्टार्ट इन नाइन नाइनटी सेवन the whole goal of Front of Asia is to bring out and screen documentaries made in and about South Asia. What are the subjects uh, uh, of the movies which are covered by the film South Asia? Uh, so uh, Film South Asia covers a wide variety of films made in and about South Asia. But currently we are working on a project and we're screening films that have to do with sexual violence and women and how it's portrayed in the media. And we're trying to challenge how it's normally depicted in the media in South Asia. So all the films and exhibition material you see here are around that issue. Say something about this uh, South Asia Women's Film Film Institute, which is uh, Patna, which is organized also at the Ajahn Group Institute of Management, Patna. Uh, Say something about this uh, program so, uh, and this exhibition. Yes. Art is it. What's that exhibition? We, uh, we approached the Bihar government uh, with our program and they showed a lot of interest and support. Uh, so the Bihar uh, Art, Culture and Youth Department and the Bihar Film Development Society um, uh, really helped us bring this exhibition to life in Bihar in Patna in particular. And we are working, uh, we're doing the screening over seven days in four different colleges around Bihar. We started at Magad Maila College, we finished at uh, Chanakil uh, Institute, uh, Law Institute, and we are here today. We will be going to NIFT afterwards in two days. So uh, uh, that is what the main part of the exhibition is. And uh, this art exhibition in particular is also part of um, this exhibition where we're trying to challenge how women and sexual violence are particularly depicted in the media. So there's artwork for, by various artists from around South Asia, from Nepal, Sri Lanka, uh, India, and Bangladesh here uh, that raises issues around this and also analyzes some artwork where, in particular, for example, artwork from Bangladesh analyzes how uh, indigenous women are portrayed in um, artwork and uh, media in Bangladesh. Is this exhibition first time in Patna or in India? Uh, this is the first time in Patna. We were, before this, we were in Chennai in November where we screened uh, these films and the exhibition at the um, uh, Asian College of Journalism and the Rosa Mutheil Library in Chennai. And, uh, and then this is the second uh, place we have come to in India. Say something uh, about these, uh, these paintings and posters uh, briefly. Um, these paintings and posters are by Bangladeshi indigenous artists. Uh, and uh, the Muktashi Chakma, one of our fellows, research fellows, has analyzed these paintings and talked about how women, uh, indigenous women, are depicted in these paintings versus elsewhere. Are these paintings and posters are based on the movies or the, on the subjects? Uh, uh, this particular paint, these particular paintings are not based on the films, but some of the others you will see here are. Uh, the, the paintings here, for example, are done by an artist named Paki Sen, and it was done for the film The City That Spoke to Me. So these are frames from uh, film that you'll see in the film and they're animated in the film. And the, the film is about uh, a deaf person and a coda, a child of deaf adult. And it's about two young women in Delhi. And, you know, uh, Paki uses these flowers as a way of talking about language and flowers depict language in this, uh, in this artwork uh, as... Um, um, you know, the film is about sign language and the struggle to understand language in many ways. This? Um, similarly, in our really attempt to really challenge how sexual violence is depicted in the media, uh, we wanted to change the typical image you see when there's news about sexual violence or rape in, in newspapers, you know. It might be a woman crying or like hiding in a room or things like that. And we wanted to change that. So these images are, are an attempt. This is a, these are by uh, 12 Nepali artists, and these are going to be available for free online as stock images later on mm -hmm. that any media company can use in South Asia when they write news about sexual violence or women empowerment and things like that.
Very good. Uh, this is this is again similar uh, artwork by um, from Bangladesh uh, by Mukti Shich, uh, by artist and analyzed by our fellow researcher Mukti Shich. And this last bit is from Sri Lanka. A congress to all artists of this exhibition from Amritsar News Partner and. Uh, also congratulate to you and your team thank you very much for this exhibition and this uh, uh, film festival thank you very much i am i uh, one point one question what's your message for the younger generation for the protection of women and children rights in the society that is a large subject that we don't have a particular message for like that but what we are really trying to do is change how we especially the younger generation thinks and thinks about uh, images to do with sexual violence or women and what is typically depicted in the media so all our films and the artwork is really trying to change that and that is the whole goal of this exhibition and the films as well united we can protect children and women rights for happy world yes definitely united we can protect uh children's rights and women's rights for a happy world it is necessary for the happy world also yes definitely thank you thank you very much and um best wishes for the for your exhibition and your movie festivals and uh, best wishes for the shower of prizes and awards to south asia trust thank you very much thank you ranjan kumar amrit ji amrit ji patna bihar namaskar